Welcome back to my channel viewers and subscribers. Hope everybody is doing great today. If it's your first time here, I would love if you first give this video a like and don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell icon just so you don't miss any updates whenever I upload a new video. So people, the Silver Star General and the self-proclaimed Maroon Emperor L.A. Lewis has filed an assault charge against the Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sport the Honorable Olivia Bobsy Grange. Now, let me tell you guys what this is connecting to. Now, the first day when the royals, the Duke and Duchess, Prince William and Kate visited Jamaica, they were in the community of Trenchtown having fun. They linked up with um, Jamaican footballers like Bailey as well as, um, you know, Raheem Sterling that currently plays for, for UK and so forth. And... They also connected with the, our bobsled team in Jamaica as well. L.A. Lewis was there having fun, being himself. You, you know how L.A. Lewis is, always jovial, friendly, and interacting with his community. In fact, there was a lot of people in the community interacting with L.A. Lewis, bossing him up and so forth, and you know taking pictures with him as well, and so forth. Now, during seemingly an interview or meet between L.A. Lewis and RFM, he was just giving them his insight on how he feel about the royals visiting Jamaica and so forth. But that was when the minister, Olivia Bobsigrain, interrupted and said that, L.A. Lewis, this is not your show and so forth. And it seems like he was laughing it out and so forth. But after that, it seems as if, based on reports on social media, that he was removed from where um the, the royals were supposed to be i would assume and he even did another interview with other news reports saying that he was disrespected by the minister olivia bobsy grange um and that's what he alleged now the way how i feel about this honestly i have two feelings i everybody understand how la lewis is he's just this fun person you know some people that you just cannot get certain things out of them if if they're jovial they're jovial and that's something that you cannot change la lewis has his personality and he cannot change and based off what i've heard i heard that if it was a public event so i i don't think that la lewis should have been removed from that site where the royals were supposed to be i believe that he definitely deserved the privilege just like anybody else to meet the royals um if he so desires honestly that's what i believe so i i do think it was a bit disrespectful on la lewis case but on the other hand with minister bob zegrange you must understand that this lady has a very important role to show that jamaica is definitely a country that can operate um independently as well as just to shed the best light on jamaica because remember the royals visiting jamaica it's not just jamaican media that's there you have bigger medias like the daily news and a lot of big big media that's going to post on their their platforms as well about the royals um visiting jamaica so olivia bobsy grange now have a very important role to ensure that everything goes well and to ensure that jamaica the, the best light is, is shed on Jamaica in those media news report. So we have to look on Bob Zegrain's perspective as well and understand that she has a very important role and she definitely wouldn't want it to be a case where L.A. Lewis would probably mess something up or, you know, seem like make Jamaica look like a country of a joke or something like that. Um, So... I definitely understand on both perspective i don't know if this incident equal to a assault charge but that's what um la lewis um submitted to the trenchtown police station he submitted a report about an assault against him by the minister olivia bobsy grange but people here's the full insight from the seven star general la lewis himself and let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section here's the full video the police station and come make a report and you know the beautiful police officers them you know them look after some mean people so 
and then think enough people don't want to know about you know. So when we talk about where maroon police them are the realest police them, so yeah son, that's the sugar we get. So people, big up a maroon police them. Thank you, you're you're my son. Yeah man. See the people so Tip a look of it tonight. Yeah man, thanks sir. Yeah man. Yeah man. So people, big up my maroon police and church on police station, so I come to make a report. Yes, I look yesterday I was assaulted by um Babsy Grinch. Yes, and and my feel look a bit um dizzy people and the say Emperor, what do you man sit up and we take the report um where the red man so them look up some nice minty for my people and don't know. So there's some that's a big up of police of all over the world people. That's why when you hear the emperor say police to get raised up here. When the car wrong me. When it's a police to get good treatment, when the car wrong me. It's a big up all of my police who don't take the vaccine. Yes, and and people don't know the Maroon Emperor without the police station and say big up to the trench on police. People don't like and share them video you know, because this to show this a good, good and great, great police is out there. We, we don't say one and two things about Jamaican police, Maroon police, are one of the greatest police and people. Hey, yes. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I sister, you pick up yourself. Yeah, but they are, you know, the, the officer never give, give me some nice tea in the morning, yes, sir? Yes, yeah, sir. And then because people for know, sir, our police are one of the most loving police. Them. You can come to our station and drop now. We have, we have a tea for you. Yeah, yeah. Sir, yeah man, good. And they, they, they give me a large variety. If we have technique, if we have tea bag, if we have peppermint tea, if we have chocolate tea, so Yes, yeah, sir? A real royal, royal treatment. Yeah, real barrel treatment. Yeah, man. That's why Mr. Police will get raised up here. Yeah, son. Yes, man. Because I got enough, I got enough government officer. I'm never get tea yet. I'm going to the police station come report. I'm going to get good, good tea. Yeah, son. Yeah, sugar, everything, chocolate tea, mint tea. Tea, but I don't know. I can't like every, every tea there. <laughs> No, this one was minty, technic minty. Minty? Yeah, technic minty tea bag. Oh. Yeah, and it's rich. So I don't, I don't know. Poor up here, so. So I tried to show the police station. I think when we become the real prime minister of Jamaica, they have got one the station there. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, how are you? How are you to become the new prime minister? Yes, man, love you. <laughs> Alright, we shall be maroon. Yeah, my people, so. They are people, so. You can't come to the station and drop down people. As a matter of fact, no police station in Jamaica, but big up the Trenchtown police and people come, I come up here and I feel look a bit um, dizzy people because you know yesterday I had a trauma and stress from what Oliver Bob's Grange um, did to me people. Uh, yes, and look a bit of pain in my left side because I don't know how to grab me hard. So I come here and feel like I drop down and the police have said, Mr. Lewis, please sit down um, and, and do stress out yourself. So they've come around with a whole heap of different um, tea people and I say, alright, the one here. So sugar and everything. So big up the trench shot police them and big up all of the police them on the land. You understand? Yeah man. So people must soon get back to me, drink some tea, then finish up um, at the station here. So big up the police them. We shall have it. Tewasha Manisha. Maroon. Nian Kepong, Maroon government. And people get to the Maroon idea. I'm gonna advise all police. Matter of fact. As of today, every police half price for food and maroon ID people. Yes, sir, because them save the emperor life people can come here and stress out people. So every police from today half price for food and maroon identification and maroon certificates them. And no police put enough pay tax on the land. Because police risk them life for the nation. I think I would call them guardian angel of, of, of the city of the state. So people big up on yourself and thanks to the support and what everybody give me so far and big up my police them so Royal treatment people at the church on police station because they almost dropped down on the police and say, Yo, sit down and come drink some tea. Yeah.